We're going all the way up into the north. We're going all the way up into St. Philip's North. We're going to call on the man, Robin, Robin, Robin Earwood Man. Surely, certain labor time. Over 30 years experience for labor government. Dynamic and equally eloquent. Master of delivery, up in any house. Defending one and all. Took moon bag and ball. Ready for the duty when it call. Call, 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 call. Sitting and we keep people safe. Good night. Comrade leader. Comrade Gaston Bone, colleagues on the platform, comrades and friends, Antiguans and Barbudans. Tonight, we're here on the eve of a general election. This afternoon, I was in church with the leader. We went to Cannon Hodge funeral. And while we were there, the Minister of Labor, Dr. Errol Court, he addressed the gathering in church. And you know what he said? Former members of parliament, which he was right. But I tonight, with your permission, as supporters and members of the Antigua Labor Party, and with the permission of the leader, I never went to an, to an inn like a lawyer. The only inn I've ever been to is Admiral's Inn. But common sense rule the world. If Parliament dissolve itself according to the Constitution, why are they still in office as members they should be, they should be caretakers. The Governor General should have reappointed a Prime Minister, because we can't do it without a Prime Minister. And tonight I'm asking the lawyers, read Section 41 of the Constitution. None of them have ever read 41 and discussed 41. It tells you to be a Prime Minister, to be a Minister, to be a member of parliament, you must be elected by the people. And none of us are elected by the people right now. We all need to be out there seeking your support. It is your power now, not ours. You give it to us, we are your servants. And all of us should be on the same plateau that you can have caretaker government not to make decisions and they have no right to be talking about three months etc we don't hear none of the lawyers talking about the representation of the people act that guides election when a parliament dissolves the representation of the people act kicks in nothing about that you know why we are on the verge of becoming a dictatorship in Antigua and Barbuda. I'm saying to you, and common sense will tell you, our people, they say parliament must be called every three months. Parliament was last called in March, April, May, June. So right now, parliament has not been called all day. So we are hearing about July and June and all that stuff. When the Constitution say Parliament must be called every three months, by next month, by the end of this month, we don't go on three months. Elections are due. None of us have had your confidence, your support, 
in putting us as parliamentarians? How can we have a speaker of a dead house? How can we have a president of a non-existent parliament? Some really wrong in Antigua and Barbuda. <clears throat> and that is why my leader has said to you tonight, listen for him on Friday. Hearken to his call. Because what we have to do within the laws of the country, we are damn well going to do it. <laughs> Comrades, let's get to home now. Some years ago, every one of us know Antigua travel with drought. And the Antigua Labour Party made it their business to say, never again we are going to go to beg water or buy water from outside Antigua and Barbuda. We brought a desalting plant here, tango, electricity, water. And in a drought country, the first thing that they did when they got in office is to lock down the power plant and lock down the desalting plant. Where I am saying to all of us tonight, when you leave work or you leave wherever you go, you cannot go on and turn a faucet and have a shower. And you want to vote for a government that is depriving you of the most essential, essential item is water. What happened to your children? What happened to your cooking of your food? When we had enough water in this country with the desalinization plant, they spent $14 million and they brought two sets of desalinization, two set of reverse osmosis plants. One out by the first force, one down by fries. None of them can give 50% of what the manufacturer said they must give. And it's 14 million US. You, 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 you and me have to pay back for that. You want to keep a government that you can't go home. Your children have to go to school. Your wife have to bed. You have to bed. Granny has to bed. Granny has to keep cold in this hot weather. Daddy has to keep cold. Wipe off, and you can't do that. I say Antiguans and Arbudans, if you vote back you people in power, you are, anybody vote them back in power, you are a wicked, non-Antiguan and Barbudan. That alone should throw them to hell out of here. I'm saying to you, my dear comrades, I'm saying to you, my dear comrades, APUA, APUA, where all of us have to depend on, the price is high. We are saying, under a Labour Party, with all of us, Gaston Bone and all of us, we can assure you tonight, them price have to come down. They will come down without proper prices for electricity. We cannot get the foreign direct investment. No businessman, a businessman in town, have a little store with his air condition for summer. And you're telling me paying eight, ten thousand dollars a month. <clears throat> How can he survive? And we want to tell the country, to tell all and sundry, and the labor, you're going to be able to afford power. That is what Gaston Bond promised you. With all of us, we went through it. And we're going to make certain. We want to tell you, do you know the Chinese power plant costs, costs three times the amount of money as, this, as Tango, electricity and water plant, three times it costs. And I don't hear all of us ranting and raging. We can't be paying $80,000 a month
for the Chinese men of the US just to maintain dead engines. When you have dead engines, a bury you have to bury them. Get the undertaker once and for all. And the Chinese better understand. Get the ship ready to come here. Cause you take back the old dead and carry them to bury them in China. <laughs> we want to tell you, my dear comrades, we want to tell you how you have to spend your money in overpaying. You see that building on High Street that APA has? That building, and let me get some seriousness here and listen. That building, almost $50 million they have spent on that building, the cost and everything. And you're telling me carbon monoxide in there, setting the people to sleep every day. I hope to God it doesn't injure them too far. And I'm saying to you, don't care who you are and you have money, you would not pay 30 million for that building. Every building you invest into, you want to make sure that if you resell it, you make a profit. That building, if you resell it, it's a hell of a loss. You, the taxpayers of this country, going to undergo. Is that fair to you? So far, I'm in the gain of evidence that you're not supposed to go to you, PP. You have them traveling to Dubai to ask for advance money and CIP, CIP. I mean, you have not agreed with CIP, you know. You have not. Because you like when you do so, you can leave here, go to Canada without a visa. You have here, you can go to England. You can go to the Schengen countries without a visa. Anything that is going to put you at a detrimental stage, we say no, no. Look at medical benefits, where they have the money in medical benefits. And let me tell you all something tonight that's going to shock you all, that you have to follow your leader. We have to get them out of there quickly. Next Thursday, next Thursday, the 8th of May, the Antigua government, the illegal Antigua government, will be going to the stock exchange and borrowing $15 million. You're going to pay it back, and they don't have your authority, because you, you gave a contract to all of us for five years. Five years gone! and they're going to put you in debt next Thursday for 15 broad million dollar paper. How are you going to put up with that? I'm saying to you tonight, before I leave, I know you all want to hear Big Mouth Western. I am saying to you tonight, Liat, we were the ones that saved Liat. There are many a four o'clock I left home to catch plane. And it was Antigua had Liat on its shoulder and saved it and kept it. And we say, we know how to. We have the plan. And when we get in here, the leader, and I will go the leader, we're going to Trinidad. And when we go to Trinidad, we will have a strengthened Liat. It, it will be done. We are one Caribbean people. We have to save Liat. Liat constitutes 25% of our economic activity. And this Labour government is committed to Liat. And we will do the job. Comrades, Labour is the country's salvation. When you look in the three tiers of society, the upper, the middle class, and the working class, the upper class drop into middle class, middle class drop into working class, and working class drop into poverty class, a new class. 
You want to keep up that. You want that to, to be continued. My dear comrades and friends, people of Antigua and Barbuda, you are safer with labor. Join us to rebuild this country. Join us to bring back prosperity to this country. Join us to give our young people work, work, work. Don't send them away. And when they come back, they have no work. Let us join hands behind Gaston Bone and the Labour Party. Move this country forward. Victory will be ours. God bless you until I come again.